Hey, listen, if they're intimidated by little old you right now, wait till God really show out. God has shown a lot of people who you are in the spiritual realm. And a lot of people get intimidated by that when you don't even know your full potential yet but they see it they see that it's coming out they know that god is with you they know that you are righteous and you're you're seeking after righteousness and you try to be pure and holy in the sight of god people are going to attack you in your character and if they're attacking me now wait for the attack when god really show up and really show out because this is the thing you can see people for who they really are and they can't play in your face and then when you speak on who they really are they'll try to call you crazy they'll say oh she got mental illness he got mental illness no i have the truth and the light of god on me you have the truth and the light of god on you and when you start speaking truth many will oppose you listen it's okay that they oppose you they oppose jesus christ they hung him on the cross and they kill him because he was righteousness. He was truth. God has called you out, Remnant, for such a time as this. And guess what? The trials and tribulations will be great. They will be many because you are truth. And people cannot play in your face anymore. This is the thing, chosen people. You keep seeking God and you keep seeking God with your whole heart. You seek him with your whole heart. And you keep walking in righteousness. You keep walking in truth. Many will oppose you. But while they're opposing you, they're opposing your father. And these are people that's supposed to know the Lord. These are people that are supposed to help you grow in Christ Jesus. But like I keep saying, this is like the situation of Saul and David. When Saul saw the gifts that David had, Saul was jealous. Saul wanted to come against David. And David didn't even know his full potential yet full potential yet david knew he had some strength but david didn't know that all the things that god was going to allow him to do and god was going to see him through and god was going to deliver saul into his hands and david still was a man of righteousness he didn't want to kill saul he didn't want to fight against saul and that's just like us chosen people we don't want to fight against nobody but they coming for us because we're allowed to see them because a lot of us have told folks about themselves and what they're doing and how they're trying to play with the Lord. So chosen people get ready to pull on, put on the full armor of God because we have to be protected and many will come in his name. Many will come in the name of Jesus. They can preach, they can teach, they can speak in tongues, they can tell you everything about Jesus, but their life says different. The way they manipulate and play with people, it says differently. But you stay righteous, pure, and holy. You keep walking after God, walking pure, upright, and holy. Okay, because God is with you. You shall lack no good thing. No good thing shall be withheld from you. In this hour, you're not going to want, need, beg, or borrow. They're going to come against you, but God is going to deal with them because his hand is on you. His light is in you. You are anointed. You are appointed for such a time as this. Hey, God bless you, chosen people. God bless you. You guys subscribe. I am Prophetess Rachel.